Hello everybody, I'm Michael Smiley coming to you with another video, another review video, um, this time about American Horror Story. Now I'm just using this case as an example because there's multiple seasons and it's an anthology series, which means that every season is different than the last, like completely different, different story, different characters. You could have one actor, actress playing a good guy in one season and they're the villain in the next season playing a total different character. I love this series. Ryan Murphy is a genius when it comes to um, telling a story, um, American Horror Story. Um, it's fictional, but there's things that are in the show that are based on real life. Kind of like I'll use um, Hotel Cortez in um, season five. Hotel. Um, now, the hotel season is based on an actual hotel that's in America that's haunted, one of the hauntedest. Um, mo one of the most haunted um, hotels in America and so that's the centerpiece and then he m you know made a story around it or like Roanoke with the lost you know civilization the lost colony I mean and then he made a story around it he's really good at that just like um, with Nip Tuck 100% of the surgeries on Nip Tuck were real and that part of it was real, but then he came up with a very detailed, rich story on the doctors and their families and stuff like that. Um, and same thing with um, 911, 100% of the rescues are based on real rescues, but he went through and made a very rich, detailed story for 911 for the... Um, for the... Um, everyone that you know from the police officers to the firemen you know the first responders um but anyway back on nip tuck or back on um american horror story um it is i love the show and it is one of the best shows um i highly recommend you not watch it with your kids because it's so dark and twisted and there's so much uh shockingly disturbing things that are in the show especially during the course of its um multiple many seasons um like sarah paulson is such a great actress jessica lang obviously kathy bates um Evan Peters, Angela Bassett is one of my favorites. And they really take these extremely talented people, in some cases so iconic people, like so legendary people like Jessica Lange and Kathy Bates and everything. And they, and Ryan Murphy put them into roles that really challenge them and push the boundaries on things. I mean, Kathy Bates is kind of used to it because she started, you know, like the first movie that I ever watched with her in it was Misery. Like she, she's done that for a while. So, um, and all of them are just so incredible. And they took all these amazingly talented people and put them in, a show that's so dark and twisted and and so detailed and rich in story and um that really has no limits really um and it's one of the best shows and i can't stress that enough it's on it premieres on fx um it goes from murder house to asylum coven Freak Show, Hotel, Roanoke, Cult, and now Apocalypse was the most recent season. And if I was to rate the series from 
best to worst, I would probably start with Apocalypse. I really enjoyed that season. It was so great. And then... I think it's always a tie between Freak Show and Asylum when it comes in second because I really bounce around between what I, I like more with those seasons and how entertaining they are and how dark and twisted they are and, um, you know, the performances of the actors and how far they actually go with the story and everything. Um, and then Hotel, and then Coven, well, Coven, Coven and Cult really... I don't know. I, li I like Coven more, I guess. And then Cult, and then Roanoke, and then Murder House. That's probably how I would stack it from best to worst. Um, it's really sad. I read um, news articles and interview with Evan Peters, actually, that he's not going to be in the next season. That's really sad because he's such a truly gifted, talented actor, and he really took his characters to the extreme. He... There's no reason why he didn't even win an Oscar for how extreme him and his characters are. And, you know, same thing with Sarah Paulson. I mean, Jessica Lange. I could go on and on and on about how talented the cast and everybody is and how amazing of a creator Ryan Murphy is. I think that everybody should check it out. Um... Murder House, Asylum, Coven, Freak Show, Hotel, Roanoke, and now Cult, you can all view on Netflix. Um, I'm still waiting on Asylum, or not Asylum, but um, Apocalypse to get on Netflix because that's my, I mean, I would watch that over and over. They really did an excellent job of that. And I'm really excited and happy that Jessica Lang came back for um apocalypse not for one episode but for two for the you know and it was just her entrance was epic um sarah paulson was incredible i mean i could go on and on and on um but i think that everyone should check it out it's a great show it it's a roller coaster it's shocking it's really dark and twisted and disturbing, especially, I mean, I could just say so much about it, but I'm not a spoiler kind of person, so you're going to have to check it out for yourself, so um, there's my review on that. Uh, the special effects, the makeup artists, the, I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. I can't stress that. It's crazy, but there's just so much. I mean, each season is only like between 10 and 13 episodes so it's not like a 22 episode season but they just pack so much story and so much craziness in those 10 to 13 episodes it literally is mind-boggling um so check it out um if you like what i have to say on my reviews and stuff just like and subscribe and share and comment any feedback is good feedback. I'll try to respond to as many as I can. Um, so until next time, have a great day, guys.